Hey guys, welcome back. In this lab, we'll go ahead and configure a MD5 based authentication between our BGP sessions or our between eBGP neighbors. So to configure or to enable an MD5 authentication between these two neighbors or between these two BGP peers, we will be making use of the neighbor password command. So let's go ahead and log in directly to our devices and we'll take uh, some of these things in action. So let's come back to our router R2. So let me move aside our topology a little bit. Let's come back to router R2 and if we quickly take a look, if I do show IP BGP summary, you can see the router R2 is neighbor with 12.11. In this case, 12.11 is our ISP1 and 22.22 .22 is our ISP2. So now let's go ahead and enable the MD5 based authentication between our router R2 and our ISP1. So we will go ahead and enable our on this link and MD5 based authentication. So let's quickly jump on to our router R2. Let's go inside the BGP process. And now we'll go ahead and make use of the, again, the neighbor statement. In the neighbor statement, let's go ahead and specify the IP address of our ISP1, which is 172, 16, 12, 11. And let me go ahead and press question mark just to show you some of the settings here. And one of the option that is here, it says a password, which clearly says set a password. So let's go ahead and make use of the password command. Let me press question mark. Again, with the password, there are a couple options that we can go ahead and specify. So in this case, let's go ahead and specify uh, the password that we plan to use. So let me call it my demo pass. Now let's go ahead and done that once that is done. So in this case, we just went ahead and configured MD5 based authentication between our R2 and ISP1. Now we have only enabled the MD5 authentication on one side of the peer. Now we need to repeat the same process on our ISP1 also. So let's go ahead and log into our ISP1 quickly and come back to and we know on the ISP1 the process for BGP process or the AS number is 100. So let's go inside our BGP 100. We'll go ahead and specify the same thing, the neighbor statement. We'll use our neighbor IP 172.16.12.2. We'll go ahead and make use of the password. And the password in this case we are using is demo pass. Now, once that is done, we can go ahead and uh, we'll can verify if the BGP sessions are up or not. And just to quickly force, if you recall, we can go ahead and clear the BGP sessions. So let's say clear IP BGP everything. So now the BGP session should come up. And as you can see, the BGP session came up between our ISP1 and our router R2. So now again, we can go ahead and take a verify few other things. We can say show IP BGP neighbor. And with the neighbor, we can go ahead and specify the IP address of our neighbor that we are interested in. And as you can see here, this is the BGP version, the remote router. And it clearly says, okay, hey, the BGP state is indeed established right now. So that kind of indicates, okay, hey, uh, the MD5 based authentication is working and the BGP session is up between uh, these two peers. Uh, something to keep in mind when you are working in production is definitely a recommended setting or recommended configuration to do because that's one of the best ways to protect your router from DOS attacks or DDoS attacks. If we don't enable a authentication, there are a good chance somebody may try to peer up or try to have a fake neighborship with your router. So it's one of those things that you definitely want to configure in your production. So that'll be all for this lab. Thank you.